Hey guys, welcome back to iCraft MC. In the last video we worked on setting up our new brewing area, and in this area I think I'll be doing some strip mining in the mesa biome to try and get some gold. The reason why we want some gold is so that we can go uh, do some piglin trading in the nether and have a lot of gold to trade with the piglins. Uh, also, in the two episodes ago, we actually met our a new friend, Jonas Marriott, and so hopefully we'll be able to uh, maybe go strip mining with him too. But something I want to do first is I was actually looking around my house and I realized this wall has absolutely no windows on it. It looks a little bit weird, so I think before we do anything, I'm just going to throw in a couple of windows. Uh, well, not throw them in, but place them with a couple of windows on this wall. I think it's looking a lot better that way and it should really make the, the whole house look um, a lot more open and bright. So I think I'll probably add a window here too, maybe three wide. And uh, yeah, I think that should work pretty well. Maybe I'll add a third window just in the middle here. And uh, yeah, I think every good house should have quite a few windows in it, so that should work. And then once we're done with this, we can head off uh, to the Mesa biome. The other reason why I want to do some mining is to try out our new fortune pickaxe, because if I show you over here, uh, we actually went enchanting and we uh, here, and we actually got uh, this uh, Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4, and Fortune 3 pickaxe. And the cool thing about this pickaxe is because it has Fortune 3, that means that anything we mine will basically drop way more of the items that we want. So for instance, uh, let's say we mined a piece of redstone. If, if for instance it would normally drop uh, 2 or 3 redstone per ore we mined, it would now drop about 2 or 3 times that amount. So yeah, maybe we'll check up on Jonas Marriott and see if he wants to mine with us. Not sure if he's around here or not, but uh, yeah, we'll see what Jonas Marriott wants to do. It looks like Jonas Marriott's over here. Hey Jonas, you looking down there? I was wondering, do you want to go mining? Yeah? Okay. Are you ready to mine or do you want to put some items away first? Uh, I think you might want to put some items away first, so... Yeah, but um, I also made sure to bring a bow and arrow because there's a cave we ran into in our mines down there. And I want to make sure that uh, we don't, uh, by mistakenly, run into some mobs that we can't defeat. So, yeah, just wait there for a second. And also made sure to bring some chests so that when we um, go mining we won't run out of space in our inventory there. Um, yeah, I'll probably just head down there. You know where the mine is, right? Actually, no, I don't think you do. Uh... You know, maybe I'll go grab um, Spark, and we can possibly uh, go into the mines with Spark. I think Spark would like a day out. Fern got a day out, but Spark didn't, so I'll be right back, Jonas Marriott, and uh, I'll be back with Spark. We did take Fern down into the mines when we first set them up, but I think uh, Spark would enjoy um, a trip to the mines as well. He's a good dog, and I think he would uh, maybe be able to fight the... Uh, the mobs for us, which would be really useful if we run into some. So here's Fern and here's Spark. Hey, Spark. And I'll give you a piece of steak because you're such a good dog. Tell by the bark you enjoy that. It looks like... Uh, and I thought I was going to say it was about to turn into night, but I don't think it is. It just seems a little bit darker. Come in, Jonas. We're right there. And yes, yeah, I'm thinking I might want to build a bridge across here since it's actually really annoying to get from the dog house to the, the coast here. So... Probably head off here. I love it how they shake off. It's so cute. All right, so uh, yeah, I'll show you where the mine is there, Jonas. It's um, it's right over here. And uh, yeah, in the last episode we set up this mine. It might have been two episodes ago actually. And uh, yeah, now that we have fortune, we should be able to get a lot of really good materials from here. So I believe the entrance to the mine was over here. Yes, the entrance to the mine is here. I should probably mark it better. Maybe I'll just. Get a few oak planks and make a small decorative entrance like this, just so we know how to get there. If you want to just park your horse out here, we can uh, head down, Jonas. Might actually make the roof a little bit higher now that I think about it, so that we can actually walk up and down without bonking our heads on the roof, since that's probably uh, not the best idea to always be bonking your head on the roof. But uh, yeah, I don't even know if we got all the way down to level 12 by mining like this, but we ran into a really big cave system, and uh, in that cave system, we should be able to uh, find a lot of materials. We found a lot of diamonds there already, so I'm thinking we'll be able to find some more materials there uh, in a minute here already. So, yeah, I think we're there. So, uh, if you want to just mine some of these materials there, Jonas, and uh, will you? I'm going to go deal with this area over here. 
Yeah, you can mine that coal there if you want. Um, see what's down here. Looks like there's some iron, some redstone. And uh, I'm surprised no more mobs. No, it doesn't look like it. So now that we have this fortune pickaxe, I'm going to mine this uh, redstone with fortune. And um, yeah, so that gave us six from one ore. That's really good. So just these four ores here gave us 26 redstone already, 33. So it's giving us about six redstone per ore. Uh, the same thing can happen with coal, though it doesn't matter uh, too much if you mine it with the fortune or not. But uh, you can certainly get more. So. For instance, you can see here, sometimes this is dropping more than one now. Uh, this one didn't, but sometimes they will. And yeah, by the end of this mining trip, we should have uh, many more amounts of ores than we would have if we didn't have fortune. And I actually brought some chests down so that we can store some of the items since there'll be so many of them. I probably shouldn't be mining uh, normal things with the fortune. I'll just move these around so we have uh, normal, fortune, and then the uh, other materials. It looks like we got some more... Um, iron here and uh, looks like you're mining over there Jonas we're at level this is at this seems to be at level 14 if you wanted to go strip mining there Jonas uh, we might want to go a little bit lower than that maybe two blocks lower we can grab this iron but uh, I want to go a little bit lower that if we head over here Jonas I'll show you the uh, the rest of this mine so over here uh, we found this cave I, that, it's a dead end I think yeah there's this lava here I might just sit sparky down here or spark down here for now we'll want to go around the lava and not get too near to it uh, it's quite dangerous and uh, yeah if we head over here when oh, i'm out of torches i better make some more here that's why i brought uh, lots of planks we can uh do coal like that did you want something no okay so uh, anyway let's see we go down here um let's see so we have this lava lake here we found and uh then up here, there's some coal on the roof there if you wanted to get that there, Jonas, on the roof there's some coal. Um, I was thinking we could get some more of this coal here. And up there there's a unlit up part of the cave, so I think we'll be very careful around here, but I might just head up here. It doesn't seem like it goes uh, very many places. So I'm sure get rid of that. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking we can hopefully find some things. Actually, I hear a baby zombie. Let me be really careful. Okay, this looks like an interesting circular cave type pattern. And it uh, seems to be going over here. Now, if this seems to be going a little bit, quite a bit higher, I don't think this will go up there because at this point we don't really need to go any higher since uh, we hear something. Anyway, since we really don't need uh, anything at this point uh, that would be too much higher than the level that we're already at. So I'm just going to mine this with fortune. This is fortune? Yes, this second one is fortune. It looks like it goes to- oh goodness, oh we're gonna die. We did not die, I'm actually surprised. I literally said we're gonna die, we didn't die. That scared the life out of me, hopefully it didn't scare the life out of you viewing the video, but uh... Yeah, I honestly thought we were about to die there, but no, we didn't die. We uh, we lived. I'm gonna get out of here actually, I think. Um, out of this area. But uh, yeah, we can keep mining down here, it's quite safe. And uh, just a second there, Jonas, I will um... I will show you... Uh, where we're going to strip mine. Uh, Alright, this should be good. So, we, I was thinking we could do is if we head back here, uh, there, if we go back this way, I think this was the way, um, maybe up here? Yes, I think it was right up here is where our tunnel goes down. Yeah, we have to pass by this lava, remember now. And um, basically, once we get down to um, the staircase here, yeah, we can just keep mining down from here. And uh, we'll be there in just a second. Let's see what level we're at. Level 12. Oh, right here is level 12. So what I think we'll do is start mining here. If you just follow me there for a second, Jonas, I'll show you uh, how to strip mine if you don't know how. Um, yeah, so if we just keep going forward like this, what we're going to do is we're just going to mine this way for a little bit. And the way I like to strip mine is always like laying out kind of a C-shaped area and you basically go from one end to the other and you'll kind of run into these tunnels and uh, yeah we can mine this here and uh, yeah so if you want to just mine uh, this other direction there Jonas just keep mining that way uh, for quite a while there I think we can probably mine that way for quite a while and, um, and then in a minute there I'll come over there and show you what to do next so what I like doing is having two tunnels and then mining kind of 
strips in between them. It's hard to, to say, but I'll show you how to do it in a minute here. So, yeah, I'm hoping we can get a lot of uh, gold from this mesa biome that we're under because we're under the mesa biome. There's a, a good chance of getting a lot of gold, so I'm hoping we can do that. Um, yeah, I'll probably keep heading this way. Oh, it looks like you ran into the, the cave there, Jonas. Um, you know, because your tunnel is going to eventually run into this lava, I think I'll just block that up. Yeah, it looks like it's coming from... Oh, above. I didn't even notice that that went anywhere. Uh, that's uh, interesting. Might head up there for a second. Hopefully I won't run into any more creepers. No, we didn't. Okay. I think I'll just... Actually, that might be cool since I have some glass on me. I'll just block that up with glass. That looks kind of cool. Perfect. Yeah, so if you just want to keep mining that direction, uh, Jonas, just from here uh, over. So, yeah, we can grab this redstone here. And uh, here we got to level 30 again, and something that's cool is I actually checked our enchantment table again, uh, which you do by just putting a tool into it, and it actually showed that the next time we enchant we'll get fortune again, and so uh, I honestly am surprised by uh, how fortunate that is, but because of that we'll be able to get a second fortune pickaxe, a uh, fortune 3 pickaxe, which will make it so that it's um, much more valuable to... Uh, mine and we'll just never run out of having a fortune pickaxe to use and there's actually no point of using a fortune pickaxe uh, when you're strip mining anyway for for anything but ores so you'll see how we filled up our um, inventory here I'm just gonna go back to about here and uh, I think we went this way yes yeah and I think I'll just place some chests uh, here I'm just gonna throw all the items we don't need all the full stacks because there's no point keeping a full stack of items in your inventory if you have a place to store it since you can't get any more items in that stack probably just throw most of these things in here except for the food we want to throw our food away and uh, well not throw it away but throw it for storage so yeah you can see just by what was in there how much more you get by using fortune it really makes it so that even an unprofitable mining trip can become much more profitable than it would if we didn't have fortune so I mean, just a section of uh, coal ore I'm sure we'll get over a stack of coal just from this section and uh, really makes it much more valuable to mine and much more valuable to uh, go on mining expeditions I think we've also run out of torches again and that's why I always bring a good stack of spruce uh, logs on me so I can uh, just continue to make torches as I go. Just kind of makes things a little bit easier. So, yeah, it looks like Jonas is still mining that way. That's good. And, uh, yeah, I'll just kind of mine like this. And then um, probably keep going like this for a little bit. And then what I want to do is uh, maybe about here, mine forward like this. And uh, if you come over here, I'll come over here and, um, sorry, I will come over to you in a second here, Jonas, and I'll show you what to do. Um, if we just... Uh, that's probably mined enough. If you mine just a little bit further, and then if you mine uh, this way, Jonas, if you if you mine just um, like this into the like if you just kind of mine that direction, and then I'll mine this direction um, for a good amount of time, maybe a hundred blocks or maybe fifty blocks, and then we can go back uh, to this tunnel and uh, come back to it. And that's just a good way of. Uh, not mining way far out, but also keeping within a specific area and mining out a specific area for material. So hopefully we get a lot of uh, materials by this and uh, hopefully a lot of gold to go piglin trading with. I mean, we've already gotten, uh, let's see, already 10 pieces of gold ore. I think that was just in one vein, maybe two veins. So that's quite a good amount. And I think if we continue to get that much, we can totally get a lot of things. And one of the biggest things we need from piglin trading is... Um, they actually give you uh, several viable items, but I, if I believe I'm if I'm correct, which I do believe I am, I think they give you Ender Pearls, and if they do give Ender Pearls, that would be very important to uh, end up getting to the the um, end dimension because to get to the end dimension, we need um, at least 20 Ender Pearls, uh, a few of them just to find the end portal, and a few of them to actually fill in the end portal. So I do hear that lava, so I'm be very careful where we're mining because we wouldn't want to run into anything. Oh yeah, there we go. Actually, uh, something I forgot to do is I should go over here and give Jonas a fire resistance potion, and I kept one too, just so if we do end up uh, falling in lava, it won't be as uh, bad if, as if we had not had a fire resistance. So if you end up falling, uh, or actually I'll tell him once we're closer, uh, I heard Spark there complaining. Uh, Jonas, if, if, we, if you do end up uh, 
falling in lava, just drink this fire resistance potion as fast as you can. I would keep it on my heart bar if I were you, but it's whatever you'd like, so. Uh, yeah, I'll get this iron here. Looks like Jonas missed that. Perfect. I love always getting more iron. And, uh, yeah, so basically, uh, this is just so that if we end up falling in lava, we won't lose all of our items, especially with me. I basically have all of, uh, all of my diamond tools on me right now, and I would never want to lose any of those, so, um, yeah, I'll probably just keep mining this way. Oh, and there's that lava. I nearly forgot about that. I'll just bridge over that for now, but, uh, eventually, um, I might uh, go down there and see what's there. Looks like we've got some more gold ore here. It's just really nice to go mining in the Mesa Baum because um, it's the most profitable place to mine in. Just because there, for everything you get, there's also the added value of having the uh, ha the added value of having the extra gold. So, um, just to show off this fortune pickaxe, I think that was five lapis, no six lapis, and that gave us over a stack and sixteen of lapis lazuli. Uh, so it really is amazing to have a fortune pickaxe and something I would love us to get soon too is a touch pickaxe because that means that when we break things like uh, stone we'll basically get exactly what we dropped so uh, when we break stone instead of getting cobblestone back we'll actually get stone back or uh, it's the same with like grass blocks if we break glass uh, grass blocks and glass too actually um, and the interesting thing about mining glass actually I'm getting off topic here and I think I just found a ravine but I don't think I'm gonna go in here it seems pretty dangerous to me very thin ravine interesting well I'm probably just gonna keep mining past this something I might do is just put a small glass window on the edge of this so that we do know that it's there and maybe we can come back to it later let's put a roof on there because we do definitely do not want to run into uh, anything uh, dangerous uh, right now I don't think we have any use of doing that so let's grab this iron yeah it seems like a pretty profitable mining trip so far haven't found any more diamonds yet but uh, still use just as useful to get things like iron and um, gold and yeah the piglins have a lot of interesting trades that we get for throwing gold at them uh, for instance they'll give you something interesting called crying obsidian and what's interesting about crying obsidian is that uh, you can actually make an interesting item called a respawn anchor out of it which means that you can actually set your spawn point in the end or not in the end excuse me um, in the nether which means that instead of something like uh, let's say uh, bed in the overworld where you know if you die you come to your bed uh, in the nether if you use a bed it'll actually explode oh, actually um i should go check up on jonas marriott and show him where to mine from here on or uh don't know um but yeah basically if you use a bed in the nether it'll actually explode and kill you so if you want to respawn in the nether you have to use a respawn anchor which is a somewhat new item actually and to get a respawn anchor what you do is you basically uh, you need six crying obsidian and I think three glowstone and you get those items from trading with these guys called piglins and what's interesting about piglins is that um, yeah just any gold items fasting to them so uh, Jonas if we just mine oh yeah you found lava there um, that's quite dangerous if you just um, don't mine quite there if you just mine uh, this direction uh, just keep mining that way and then uh, if I mine the other way we should meet up in this little area that we've kind of mined around should hopefully become a uh, the area which we will mine inside of this area we're kind of surrounded by a tunnel so the reason why I like doing that is then uh, when you mine for instance this way you'll run into the tunnel at the other end or if you start mining at the other end you'll mine you'll run into the tunnel over here so it just makes it so that uh, you can easily um, mine in a specific area without getting lost and yeah, you know, just makes things a little more focused to a specific area but uh, yeah, we got past that ravine there, so I'll probably just keep heading down uh, this way. Probably just mine this way, and I'm thinking we can probably run into uh, Jonas Marriott there. I think one of us should at least run to each other's tunnels, although our tunnels are certainly of uh, varied lengths. So hopefully if I keep mining this way, I'll run into Jonas Marriott's tunnel. Um, and I'm hoping we're around the same block, but uh, if not, we can always fix the situation later. Oh, here's some water in a cave. Let's see if we can just block up that water. Put up a torch or two. I'm gonna make sure that my uh okay, creepers. I'm not dealing with you right now. Thank you very much. I uh, will grab this core at it though. 
But uh, yeah, just keep grabbing this, see what more we can get. And um, let's see, so I think we were mining this way. Goes down to lava, is there any diamonds? No, I think that's just where we were before. So if we keep mining this way, we should uh, run into, no, oh, mine that with fortune. We should run into Jonas Marriott's tunnel in a second here, and then we can start mining in the areas in between. So I'll just keep mining this way, because basically you're just trying to mine a big circle around this area. Good thing I brought my shovel, I have to run into all this dirt. But, uh, yeah, I can, oh, I should have done it with fortune, but again, doesn't matter too much with things like redstone because uh, they're quite common, so. Just mine this, and uh, it's a huge iron vein. You know, I wonder if this is actually two iron veins connected. I think it is, just by how much it was there. It looks like maybe, see, we know we're a stack of iron ore. That's really good, and I think that we probably got almost uh, maybe 15 to 20 iron ore just there, so. If we keep mining this way, we should eventually start, we should eventually run into uh, Jonas Merritt's tunnel. I hear someone walking. I think that's just a zombie, so that probably is not Jonas Merritt. And uh, yeah, either Jonas Merritt will run into my tunnel or uh, I'll run into my tunnel. And we'll probably see uh, his name tag after me here. Oh, here's some gold. That's really good. And it looks like it's connected to some redstone. And um, yeah, they get all their redstone there. Perfect. That's good. I think we've gone quite far already, so we should be pretty close. Because we both mined out, uh, that would be uh, probably about double the length. So uh, it should take a little bit while, uh, a little while to get to Jonas Marriott's tunnel here. And just keep mining over, and uh, yeah, see what we can find. Hmm. I'm sure we'll be running into it pretty soon if we don't have to go back and see. Do I see torches? No, just lava. Hmm. Wondering if that lava was the lava that I saw near uh, Jonas. Could easily be. Not sure. Uh, here's some more lapis anyway. Be careful about that tunnel there. Might just put a torch up or two. Just to be safe. And um, yeah, I'll just keep mining this way. Should be there pretty soon. We can always just mine this direction and we'll get back to the main tunnel. So it's like we're lost. Uh, here's that lava there. Here's some more redstone. That's always good to find. We're almost filled up our inventory again, so hopefully we will not um, get too full up. But uh, yeah, it seems like we've had a pretty successful mining trip. Anyway, I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this, and like the video if you uh, yeah, wanna, if you uh, like this video, yeah. So um, anyway, thank you for watching the video, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!